Today, the Rapides Foundation's 2024 symposium took place in Alexandria. Colin Vidros reveals how AI technology could shape the future of healthcare. The Rapides Foundation's 2024 symposium is celebrating 30 years of service in its nine parish region in central Louisiana. It's been 30 years, so we, we, we've had that much time that we've worked on the issues that we pursue, which is improving health status. And, you know, we have the great fortune of having uh, that resource of $350 million to invest in the community. So this is an opportunity to showcase some of the work that we're supporting right now. It's also a chance for visitors to learn more about artificial intelligence. And while it is still very new in its inception, the future of AI can be concerning for many. AI is terrifying in so many ways. There's misinformation and hate and misogyny and violence and all this ugly stuff. Um, the one place, though, that I think it is unassailably promising is in healthcare. That's CBS Sunday Morning correspondent David Pogue, an expert in technology, and like all of us, are still figuring out the pros and cons of AI. Nobody, no, I don't care if you're Neil, De Neil deGrasse Tyson or Elon Musk or me, it doesn't matter. No one knows. We are just so early in this. I mean, this stuff is a year old. So we have yet to see regulations. Eventually, I think there will be guardrails to keep the worst of the fears from coming to coming to pass. Uh, but right now, no one has any idea. We just don't know. Uh, you know, there's a lot of worry about AI and there's a lot of possibilities. So particularly with us uh, being a healthcare provider, to, to be as specific of how is this going to impact healthcare is, is good for us. But for the healthcare world, AI could be revolutionary. And whether we want to believe it or not, according to Pogue, the career is changing, mostly in a good way. Drug discovery, for example, these pharma companies used to take $4 billion and 15 years to come up with a new drug because in many cases, you have to find a drug that fits a certain protein. And we don't know what the protein's like. So it's like making a key to fit a lock you've never seen. Now AI is telling us what our 200 million proteins look like. Boom, that problem is gone. And with AI seen in emergency rooms, Rozier says now it's about understanding where else AI can fit in the healthcare profession. The other side is uh, what are the workforce needs to be able to work in an AI world or actually uh, be involved in producing and, and managing AI. So it could actually go there for us of is there a skill set that we need in our workforce. In Alexandria, for News Channel 5, I'm Colin Vidros.